one year ago today, this cop, Darren Wilson, in the streets of Ferguson, shot down and murdered Michael Brown. Michael Brown, who was walking down the street, minding his own business. The cop pulls up. Michael puts his hands in the air, figuratively is saying, hands up, don't shoot, but this cop doesn't care. He shoots him down anyway. Anyway. And Michael Brown could have been another name on a long list of black and Latino people, men and women who've been gunned down, who've been murdered by the police. But this time it was different. There is a fight going on throughout society right now of how are we going to remember what happened in Ferguson. There is a fight going on right now about whether to uphold the fact that the youth took to the streets, stood up and said, no, not this time, we're not going to take this anymore, and we don't give a fuck about a few gas stations or a few CVSs. The lives of people being murdered every single day in this country count for way more than a few broken windows. I went up to open school night for, for Nicholas. I always go to open school night because I want to hear from the teachers and uh, what how what kind of what kind of student he was, what kind of student he is in in the schools. But anyway, one particular open school night, I went into the school and right there at the door, the principal was there. Oh, Mr. Haywood, I'm glad you came with your son. He's always in my office. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I mean, I <laughs> I was like a little. I didn't. He's always in your office. I looks at Nick. I say, what he be doing? He says, oh no, Mr. Haywood, he's in my office. He helps me out a lot in my office. He's a very good student, you know. And this is coming from a principal, and uh, you know, and I was very overwhelmed by it. I've been out here on the streets protesting and rallying for the last 21 years for justice for my son, 13-year-old honor student Nicholas Jr., who was murdered by the NYPD September 27, 1990. I realize that I'm part of the privileged youth of this community and watching kids that are my age being gunned down in the street and then having their murderers be protected by a system that I benefited from was very disturbing and I realized that that had to change. I didn't want to become part of the system that's so racist and classist. I was stopped and frisked and that was terrifying. I was crying the whole time. Um, but I've seen a lot of friends during protests hit and uh, shoved and pushed and like treated terribly by the police, which was just a hard, it was a hard thing to watch. In Cincinnati, what did they say when, when they saw the video of Sandra Bullock being shot in the face by that pig? Did they say, oh, this video shows something horrible that we can't allow keep, to keep going on? No, no. They said, this video could lead to another riot. This video could lead to more people standing up. That is the only thing that they're afraid of. That is the only thing that forces them to give up you know, convictions. That is the only thing that can get some small amount of justice out of a brutal, brutal murder. I remember when this first happened to my son. I didn't know what direction to go. I didn't trust almost no one. It wasn't until a year later after my son was killed that I met Iris Baez, um, Milton Calderon, and... Um, Margarita Rosario. These were all parents who were out in the streets protesting and rallying the injustice and the murder that happened to their children. It was them, those people that inspired me and I was able to get a lot of knowledge out of them. True justice means indictment of a guilty police officer, but it also means more than that. It means that a voice is given through the people for the unfortunate deaths of so many black and as well uh, as Latino lives. And I think Justice is not just like getting money from the government. It's like being heard and having a huge contribution to like a, a movement. We need to organize ourselves. We need to stick together in unity to put an end, a permanent end, to police murder of innocent, unarmed human beings.